Hey, what's up? How you doing? I haven't used my pressure cooker in about two or three weeks. How about you? Or did you forget you had one? Today I got two and three quarter pound top round roast beef. How much was that? Twenty dollars and twenty two cents. Seven forty nine a pound. Wow. Anyway, we're gonna make that so tender and delicious with some onion soup for the liquid, because you know you need liquid to get the pressure going. Let me show you how easy this is. Look, got some gravy, got some garlic, onion. Does not look like it's gonna be good. I also got some mac and cheese in the Hot Logic there. That's the Hot Logic Mini XP. It expands up. It's just like the original Hot Logic Minis, but it's bigger. It's taller. It expands up. I'll show you once I put this meat in. All right, let's open this meat. I have a little rack I'm gonna put in here. This is my six quart instant pot. You know, we have a few of them, if you've been watching. At one time we had like 14 of them, I believe. Is that crazy? Now this meat has some string on it, see? I'm gonna take the string off, do you mind? Oh, it's a uh, elastic. The last time I made this, I made it three or four times. I cut it in half or quarters and I browned the pieces in the pressure cooker on browning mode. But I'm not going to do this today. I'm put it in just like that. I'm going to wash my hand and wash this counter off quick. Counter, I don't want to make a mess. Get it? I got some soap. How you doing today? Pretty good? That's good. Let me show you how easy you can make a gourmet meal for your family and friends or just for yourself. So easily. Open this French onion soup. Oh, I don't need a can opener. Look at that. Like I said, we usually need two cups of water to give the pressure cooker enough liquid to make steam to build up pressure. Remember that? We can make some French onion soup. It is French onion soup. In a bowl with some cheese melted on it. Pour that down there. Yummy. Cut up this onion and garlic. You know how to do that, right? Look <laughs> at that. How many do we need? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five cloves. Six. Four, five, six cloves. Smash them up again. See, so smash them like that. They come right apart. See that? You know that? Just beat it. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. See that? One more good punch. Whoa! See how easy that is? All right, got a little bit on the floor, but that's all right. I like the smell of it. Put that in. Put it all in. Top of the meat. It'll dissolve, it'll melt, it'll smell delicious. Now let's do the same thing to this onion. Think it'll work with an onion? Let's see. Yeah. Whoa. All right. That works pretty good. I wouldn't recommend training that yourself. I'm a trained professional. Put it in. This again is gonna melt down and permeate into the meat, just like the garlic. See how easy this is? Could be beef stew. Could be pulled beef sandwiches. Could be French dip sandwiches. Could put carrots and potatoes in there if you want. And I made it all different ways. Today, we we'll make it like this. Some beef gravy. With the onion soup. I'm gonna put this right on top. See, just like that. You really see this in two hours. I usually go 90 minutes. I made a few of these recipes with roast beef. And I always went 90 minutes. And I thought it was nice and tender, and it was, and it was delicious. But today I'm gonna go two hours, because I have time. I just want it to fall apart and melt, so we'll see how that goes. Put our magical tinkling lid on the Instant Pot. See, it tells you, lid, 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 see it. All right, make sure you're in pressure mode if you have that kind of lid. This one automatically goes to pressure mode. Release, pressure. On two hours. Two hours, and then we're on high pressure. Your controls are a little different, maybe. Just press start. On. All right, let it build up some pressure. 
probably five ten minutes I'm just gonna start counting down to two hours it's gonna be so delicious and fall apart and then I'm gonna eat well let me show you this mac and cheese this was frozen about two and a half hours ago I remember I told you just like the regular hot logic minis but this is expandable thing where you could expand the top when you're going somewhere and put utensils or goodies or whatever you want in here okay carry it away like that and it's still cooking all you do is plug it in remember there's a heating element in the bottom of that hot logic mini personal portable oven i always have a link down there for these because we use these a couple times a week you can take it to work and have a nice hot meal use it in your truck or your car or your boat uh, and you just plug it in that's all you do plug it in no knobs no temperatures no settings so this mac and cheese was frozen two and a half hours ago let's see what it looks like all right let me give it a stir that's left over from when we made a giant batch of it i just figured that would be good today let's see what it looks like maybe need more cheese or something Mm, oh yeah okay it was frozen solid it's hot now look it's nice and hot we can eat it just like this just want to break it up a little bit i'll make some butter in there what do you think where do you see this at the end i think there's enough cheese i'm gonna put some butter because i love it and maybe a dash of milk Is that enough butter hmm probably oh boy I didn't put any salt or pepper in the pressure cooker because with that French onion soup, there's enough salt in there for sure. We could pepper it up when we're done though. A little splash of milk in there. Brighten it up a little. All right. And this can simmer here for another two hours. That's the good thing about the hot logic. It'll stay the perfect temperature all day long. This will stay for six hours, eight hours, four hours, two hours. You can eat some. Zip it back up and leave it plugged in for the next person that wants to eat. There's a lot of cheese. See? Put the lid on. You can use foil in here. You can use plastic containers or cardboard. Fast food containers. Frozen meals. Plus we have a family size, a casserole size, which is 9 by 13. This is great. You don't even have to set it. You just plug it in and forget it. Sit back there for a while. I hear some boiling going on in the pressure cooker. You hear it? That means we're getting there. That means it's building up pressure. All right, now all I gotta do is nothing. Let's sit here and wait. In two hours, it'll be done. And Kathy will be home. And we'll sit here and we'll taste it for you. Okay? Whoa. And I get to sit here or stand here and drink my coffee and watch TV while this is cooking. Remember what it looked like? And that mac and cheese is going to be delicious. And she might find another vegetable. You could do anything you want here. Like I said, you could put carrots and potatoes in here. But not for two hours, see? That's the thing. Because carrots and potatoes only take 10, 15 minutes maybe, depending on the thickness in the pressure cooker. We could put carrots and potatoes in the hot logic. Remember, there's a discount code and a special link. Discount code RICKM for the hot logics down there. We use them every day. Got about seven or eight of them. All right, pressure's almost up. 19 minutes left on the pressure cooker. Kathy's here now. She thinks we need something else to eat. What do you got there? Oh, I'm making some fresh green beans. How are you gonna make them? On the stove? Yep, I'm gonna, gonna boil them. I'm gonna steam them and oh. and add some sesame seeds and. Will that take like 18 minutes? Yeah, so I get them cut up. Smells good, huh? Did it smell good when you came in here? Oh, I could smell it oh, from outside. Yeah. It's really good. I took a nap and smelled it. I dreamed about it. Almost. <laughs> I'll set the table. Okay. Well, we got one minute. I can't wait any longer. There it is. Oh. The time has come. Let me push this button on top. Let the pressure out. Huh. Woo wee! Stand back! It's a geezer! Boy, it really smells good now, I'll tell you. Woo wee! Finishing off the green beans. A little avocado oil and some 
nice sesame seeds. Mm. Yummy. Oh, I can't wait to open this. Almost. It's a little pretty. Oh, there we go. Right in front of your eyes. I'm going to open it now. Come with me. You see it before me. Remember how big it was? Filled up the whole width of it. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Look at Shrank. Look at Shrank. Whoa! It's Whoa. like an hors d'oeuvre now. <laughs> a morsel. No, it's okay. It's about half the size though. Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. Look, it just pulls apart. Look. Oh boy, see? Look at that. I know you wanted nice slices maybe. But look at that. Just pull it apart. So do you want to just take that out and put it on the plate? Yeah. You want it slices, but I kinda had a sandwich in mind, but this is gonna be good either way. Oh, okay. Might want a sandwich or slices or whatever. Yeah, there's a rack in there. Alright, there's gonna be some rack. Ooh, That's really nice rack. Time to eat. I forgot to look at the mac and cheese. I was so excited for the meat. Remember this right here? Mmm. Hot logic me. From frozen. Oh, look at the juice in that pot though too. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Look at my jus. There's a lot of That'd be a nice dipped sandwich, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of bits down in there. Good. Inside. I'm gonna pour that on my meat. Yum. Hot Logic Mini XP version. Oh, nah, it smells like buttery mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want some of that? Remember that was frozen when you made a big batch? You remember? Yeah, I made a big batch. All right, let's get over to the um, table. Check it out. And we're going to just stir it up here a little bit. Bring up some of the nice cheesy put some sauce. Milk and butter in, in the middle. Good. Good idea. Look how nice. Oh, okay. I can't wait. Let's get over to the table. It's time! Look at this feast. Ooh, that's a good meal, would you say? Okay. Should we. You want some? Okay. If you don't We're want yours. Look at I got hamburger rolls, so I could if I want. No, I'll have it on the plate because mac and cheese in there. Let me see if you try slice it. We have a butter knife. Oh, alright, I don't think they're a chunk. Whoa. I think it just do with a fork, huh? Yeah, Look it's tender. All right, it's leave it just like gonna that. fall apart for so you. Leave it like that, so I have okay. big chunks. You? You want to try to? Oh, you're gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I try to slice it, it's gonna probably. Look at oh, this side. Doesn't smell good. Oh my gosh. Oh. So I would cross the grain like this. Yeah. But it looks like it's gonna be so tender. That's what I wanted. Remember last time I did it for 90 minutes. Very tender meat here, so go for it like this, pot roof style. Want some of this? Yes, please. Want some of this? Sure. Okay. Hmm. It's <laughs> like cafeteria food or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's more like in there, you know? it's more like holiday food, I think. <laughs> Okay, first I'm gonna taste the meat. Me too. Just look at it. Just look at it. Mm. Wow, what a good flavor. Mmm. 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 Buttery mac and cheese. Now you can put on your salt and pepper if you want. I just want some pepper a little bit. Because the onion soup, I think, had enough salt in it. Delicious. Like green bean. It's delicious. See how easy it is? Put it in. Pressure cooker. Yeah. And take a nap. Anybody can do it if they have one. If I can do it, you can do it. That's a great Friday night meal, huh? Yeah. We won't talk your ear off because we want to enjoy this, but <clears throat> saw a good movie called Don Frosted, right? With yeah. Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld on Netflix. Did you hear about that one? A lot of stars are in it. 
mm. for little bits. It's pretty good. It was a good movie. Kept me interested. It's about cereal and pop tarts. Yeah. <laughs> the invention of pop tarts. And a lot of nostalgic things. Yeah, it's different for a change, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's a robin's nest in the bush right by my door. Every time I open the door, the mother bird flies out. Looked in there's some eggs. I don't know, there's three or four there. What does this look like? I think there's four. And then we saw some babies. See, they're moving, but I don't know if you see them moving. They're so small. Yeah, they are tiny. Very tiny. Mm. But how nice that they hatched in time for Mother's Day. <laughs> it was only a few days ago. The big fat robin was out there when we were planting the garden. And I filled the bird bath with water and this big fat mama got into the bird bath and she enjoyed herself so much. And I was talking to her a little bit. <laughs> and now I see her sitting on the, yeah, on the fence. Yeah, every time we open the door, it screams and flies out of the bush. Yeah. Well, what the heck? And then I was putting brakes on my truck today out there, right by the bush. Back and forth. Before I started, I moved over a little bit in the driveway. Well, she got. I didn't want it to attack me or nothing. Well, she got little ones to protect. That's all. Yeah. Then I mowed the lawn. Mm -hmm. What a nice day it was. Mm, for me, it's so good. It's going to be great on hamburger rolls. Mm -hmm. We'll use some of that juice. And pickles and and yeah, a little oh, horse juice. Yeah, oh my gosh. Where's my zoo? Hmm? I don't need my apron no more, do I? Mm -hmm. I need a ladle. Where's the ladle at? Ladle Romy. I put in a gravy boat or a bowl. Well, you got a big ladle, so use the big bowl. <coughs> wow. Oh, Romy, you see this one back there. Look at that. That's like onion soup. That could be onion soup. Beefy flavored onion soup. Burn some cheese on the bowl there. Could you just uh, you want some? put a little on my beef? Thank you. That's, That's great. what it's for. Look at it. Imagine dipping your sandwich in there. Mm. Wow, what an excellent meal. Thank me. Unplug these. Don't forget about the Hot Logic. We use it two or three times a week yet. There's a link down there with a discount code. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look. Ooh. Those new kind of tickets, remember? Mm -hmm. Progressive. Yeah. If they're progressive, I got two of each kind. And I think if they're progressive, they have an odd number, like the jackpot is 35,550. Well, the next one should be 35,551 or something like that. I don't know. Progressive. So, see? Mm -hmm. Look. Okay. Garden of Green is the title of this one. You like that? Yeah, I like that. And this one is called Lightning Fortune. Okay, let's do them. No scratching needed here. Okay. We're going to win. Ooh, I guess you can only win the jackpot. I don't know. I don't know how that works out. This says five top prizes of 10,000. That's a garden one. I don't understand the progressive and the instant ticket. Ten dollars? All right. Oh, so there good. goes my answer. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't progressive. Save that one. And these are progressive. Don't get any as you Oh man, them. I can't wait to keep eating that. Mm -hmm. Any dessert? I had something for you to try for Another dessert. One. Ooh, lemon pie. Pie mm -hmm. in the eye. And that's not a big deal dessert. Pizza pie. Something you haven't had before. More. Oh. Okay. Protect that one a little bit from... Yeah. Ten dollars, okay. I didn't spend ten dollars on them, so that's good. Dessert already? We want to show you this little... We're glad you were here. ...taste today. We have an Oreo got? flavor. Dirt cake. Dirt cake. <laughs> Dirt cake flavored cream. Are you kidding me? So it has worms on it. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Oh, you no. know how they make dirt cake? Yeah. They put gummy worms. In there? Open it. No, oh, it's the flavor of the filling. Oh. I thought there was a worm on it. Yeah. Huh? I'll give you a taste. I don't need milk for that. I already got your milk. I'm not the... no. Dirt cake. Everybody has heard of that, right? Where you take a dirt. Oreo cookies and crumble them up and put them on chocolate pudding or something. Huh. Dirt. That's See, look at, look at the sparkles. They're supposed to be the gummy worms uh -uh. that you see on top. No. I don't know. <laughs> so don't get her to taste it first. <laughs> I like the sparkles. It says gummy worms inspired sprinkles on top. We're just tasting this. I'm this, yeah. Okay. Gummy worms inspired sprinkles on top. Yeah, so that's you were right. The, yeah. Now you eat them. Yeah, dunk them thick. in there until they almost fall apart. Then you go. Mmm. Their cake is mm, a nice mm, dessert. Mmm. 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 It looks like two shades of chocolate. Yeah. Dirt and mud. Limited edition. Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. But I'd hate to eat them because I would eat half of them or all of them. Just keep dunking them and eating them, you know. Thanks for joining us yeah. for a quick Friday video. So you learned a new recipe anyway. You forgot about your pressure cooker, baby. I, I told him we had we used to have eleven or twelve, I don't know how many we used to have. Yeah, we found a lot. We got out of hand. <laughs> we have like three or four now. That's all we need. But the point is, it's a, an easy way to make a nice dinner. Mm hmm And I think this tastes great, Rick. Me too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check Kathy's channel. We'll make some meat. This is always time to eat. So yeah. Give me one of them buns over there.